In part two of this service enablement for mobile applications tutorial, we will be building and testing a mobile application using the pattern we chose in part one. We will be using the IBM Worklight Studio, which is an Eclipse based product and you may often hear referred to as a MEEP, a mobile enterprise application platform. The Worklight Studio is one of a number of MEEPs that Message Broker will happily interact with. In the Worklight Studio, let's build and test our application. To do this, we will import into the workspace the project which our pattern generated previously. Select File Import and Existing Project. If we open up our application, we can see an adapter. This is a piece of implementation which allows you to publish or advertise the procedures and functions that a mobile application can call. If we open up the adapter XML file, we can see the code contains the same information that was in our .NET application previously in part one. We can see the procedures called get balance, transfer money, and find missing account. The purpose of the adapter is to accept what are called HTTP JSON requests. The term JSON is a format called JavaScript Object Notation. The JSON requests are coming in from our mobile application. The adapter packages them up and sends them across to Message Broker which will perform the actual systems integration. We have already deployed this adapter and within Worklight Studio we can now go ahead and test it. Right click on the adapter and run as Invoke Worklight Procedure. This will now simulate being a mobile application. It will send an HTTP JSON request to Worklight which will pass it through to the adapter and onto Message Broker. If we call the getBalance method in our banking example, this will pass an HTTP JSON request to Worklight just as if it were a mobile application. We can see the data that comes back from Worklight that would be sent back from the mobile application. This data comes back out of our .NET application showing when our account was last updated and our bank account balance. To summarize, we have taken the .NET class, built the service in Message Broker, and now we have adapter logic running in Worklight so we can start to build our mobile application. Our pattern has also created a mobile application which has been deployed to the Worklight server, making it available to run on mobile applications. If we look at the Worklight administration console, we can see our adapter and our three methods for get balance, transfer money, and find missing account. We can also see our mobile application, which has been deployed alongside the adapter. Let's now test this out as a mobile web application. Click on Preview as Common Resource, and we can see a working Android application for our banking example, displayed within a web browser. To run this application on a mobile device, let's look at our Worklight console. Here we can see an Android version of this application ready to run on our chosen mobile device. In Worklight Studio, right click on our application and select Run as an Android application. An Android emulator is displayed showing our banking application running in the emulator as it would on our mobile device. 